Okay, it is October 1st, very windy. It's time to get all the honey supers off from this year. Um, whether they're full or not, the honey supers gotta go. We're gonna reduce them all down to two boxes. Um, I've been checking on them, so uh, the boxes, the brood boxes look pretty good for winter time. So we're just basically going to tear these boxes off. I'm going to use the uh, Honey Bandit and the uh, fume board. We're going to knock these guys out and uh, anything that is not dry or complete, we'll set back out up front for them to rob out. Uh, we're still going to have enough warm days that they'll be flying, but then that way they can just take it all back and then pack everything up solid for winter. So let's get started. So after I pull the honey supers off, I'm going to blow the rest of the bees out with the blower uh, just to make sure we got them all. And uh, as I'm going also, I think I'm going to pull the queen excluders because then the bees can get down from the fume board. They'll be able to get down out of those honey supers easier without the queen excluder in the way. So once I kind of get the first one going, I'll just take the queen excluders out maybe while I'm waiting for the fume board to work and do its thing. Um, there won't be a lot of video in on this. I might just kind of sit, sit back here and let it film. And uh, maybe I'll get one where we blow the bees out a little bit. Okay, we got the first one, the queen excluder out. I got the fume board on working. I'm gonna just uh, take the next queen excluder off and then stack them back up. Let's keep working. Okay, that's one. Well, we got one down and a uh, lot more to go. Even though you think this is going quick, it's, uh, or you want it to go quick, it doesn't. Do you ever do something and think to yourself later, what if while I'm taking the queen excluders off so the bees can get down when I take the queen excluder off so the bees can get down. What if the queen comes up in these boxes and I'm pulling her off and blowing her out in the grass and stuff? Wouldn't that suck? I guess we'll find out. Well, so far, the honey bandit has not been doing a very good job. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's not hot enough. There's not a lot of sun shining on him now. My only hope right at this point is the honey bandit is strong enough uh, scent that it's driving the queen down. Ow, stung me on the face. Hopefully it's powerful enough that it's driving the queen down. Um, and we'll go from there. I'm not sure what the difference was between this hive here and this hive here, but the fume board is working really good on that one. It uh, did not do anything on this one. 
But if you come around and look at the front, it might just be a numbers game. That hive just had a lot of, a lot of girls in it, baby. So anyway, we're, uh, we're just gonna keep on working. After this, we got two more to do. I think I'll uh, leave the queen excluders in on those just to not take any chances. Okay, last box. We have uh, definitely created a lot of mayhem. Last box isn't even uh, capped or heavy, so I'm just gonna set it straight out front and uh, Okay, we got them all. Uh, we got them all done. They're all down to two. There's still a uh, month of October probably for some uh, to get some nectar. Not much. And then of course everything we pull off, if it's not uh, capped, whatever's not capped and ready and dry enough, we'll just feed it back to them. All right. Whew. All right, it's taken a few days. Um, we put out boxes that weren't ready to harvest and we have harvested and extracted all the frames. And these have been sitting out here for quite a while. And even on a cold uh, cold day, first, first little frost of the year, even uh, the bees got up early and started cleaning it all up. So, finally got that done now it's just a treat for the uh, varroa mites and get them all ready for winter all right bye